it, this is the final lecture on matrices. Lectures 16 and 17 will be missed because they were just a couple of proofs which were from lecture 12 where I stated in the definitions. I stated a list of different properties for determinants and we just proved a couple more of them. So the final lecture was on a joint matrices. <coughs> so I'll teach you how to find these and I'll put a, a couple of properties as well. So. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Right. Uh, the first property is that if we have A as our matrix, oh, we have a matrix A multiplied by the adjoint A, then it equals the determinant of A times the identity matrix. Um, next one is that if we, ha if we have the adjoint of A transverse, transpose, sorry, then it equals the adjoint of A all transposed. The next one is, uh, I think I put this one in the lecture 12 as well, uh, A inverse is a joint of A divided by the determinant of A. So that's actually quite a useful one to know because I think the inverse can get a bit, little bit messy. Right, now this, you're probably wondering what I've done here. This is actually just a demonstration of how to find the different parts of the joint matrix. So what we do is we start off with our matrix, pretend these lines aren't here. And what we do is we cross off, we cross off the points. We cross off, we've crossed off down here and across here. So we've crossed off the point A completely twice. So we, if we, with the point that we've crossed off twice is the point that we are finding. So what we do after we crossed off, we find the determinant of all the remaining uh, values that are in here. So we've crossed off here, so A is going to be the determinant of what's left. So we have the determinant of this little thing, and we group together as a little matrix. So we have E, F, H, I. So the determinant will be E, I minus F, H, which will give us the value for, say, the point A in our new matrix, which is our joint. Um, also down here, a few more examples. Uh, I'll start with this one. Uh, this one we've crossed off C, so we're finding the point that will be over here, the top right in the adjoint matrix. So we find the de uh, determinant of what's left, so it'll be DH minus EG, and that will be the point over here. Uh, this one's a little bit more trickier, but it's the same principle. We've crossed off the middle. We've crossed off the E, so the value of the determinant of what's left will be the value that we put in the E position in our adjoint matrix. So we have AI minus CG, we find the determinant of that. We just kind of uh, make these lines disappear and move everything in. So it, these get joined together as a, as a two by two. Got an example? Right. Uh, find the adjoint of the following matrix. This is our matrix we're finding the adjoint of. Um, oh, something else I should probably tell you, which I, I need to tell you, is when we're doing it, as we're going along, this is a positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. It alternates as we go through. And this is the same for the determinant, as uh, we've shown. Like when we have, we cross it off, don't we? And we find the determinant of the first one times A, the second one times minus B, and so on. So, right. So what we do here, first of all, we want to cross off the two lines here. So we crossed off three. Yeah. So we find the determinant of what's left, which is 14 minus 8, which is 6. The next one we cross off here. Yeah, so we find the determinant of what's left for this point, which is 6 times 2 is 12, minus 72, which is six uh, minus 60. Because it's a negative, we'd make it a 60. Remember, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, so on. And this is the same as a 4 by 4, we'll have plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, and so on. Uh, the next one, 57, we cross off here. So we have the determinant of 6 minus 63, which is minus 57, that's fine. The 3, we'll cross off here. 
oh, no wait, we cross off here, yeah, so we have 8 minus 5 is 3, because it's a negative now, we have minus 3, next 39 in the middle, so we crossed off here and here, so we have 6 minus 45 is minus 39, the next one, we cross off here and here, so we have 3 minus 36 is minus 33 because we've got a negative now, it's now 33. The next one, uh, we cross off here and here, so we have 32 minus 35 is 3, but we've got, uh, it's minus 3, and it's a positive so we leave this minus 3. The next one, we cross off here and here, 24 minus 30 is minus 6, but because it's a negative we now have plus 6. Uh, then, then the final one, plus of here and here, and 21 minus 24 is minus 3. So this is the adjoint matrix, and it's not that hard really. It's quite similar to calculating the determinant in the fact that we're crossing lines and finding the determinant of what's left.